business depends on that water. We have, we, to sell milk, you have to pass water quality tests for the state of Wisconsin. To sell uh, meat. To sell meat, meat, you have to pass. Our whole entire, everything that we work for and do every day depends on that water. And mm -hmm. see that's the thing with the cattle too. A cow, a cow is a very sensitive thing. Whatever a cow eats, breathes, drinks, shows up in their mouth. So when they start this, uh, exploding this stuff and uh, contamination gets here, it's going to show up in the milk. First. And that makes my milk unsaleable. Because like a cow in the spring year, we got what we call leeks, uh, wild onion that comes up. Oh yeah, yeah. and the milk tastes. <laughs> yes, and if a cow eats it, so we yeah. got to make sure we keep our cows out of it because yeah. otherwise we can't sell our milk. Because, it, you know, the cows, the cattle, the dairy cattle in, in Washington State after the earthquake in Japan where they had the nuclear mm -hmm. failure, for two months, those cows had traces of radiation in their milk. And they had to dump it? They had to dump it. Yeah. And that's thousands and that's of miles. thousands of miles yeah. across an ocean. And that, that's yeah. in the drift. wind drift. Yeah. Yeah, just well, in the wind. We're talking just a mile in drift. Yeah. You know, we're, we're talking a mile. Well, now, Most they of the have one time, at one time said there's going to be a 12 mile dead zone. Either side. either side of the mine. From the dust and the, every, everything else. Oh, yeah. so it mean, that, that, that would mean that the, 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 the quality of the water is yeah. going to go down. But the water itself. True. If the water is gone. gone, it's everything's gone. And yeah. uh, the geologist Tom Fitz today explained mm -hmm. that there's pyrite. Pyrite? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In a rock, and, and, and when that is taken out, when it's in the ground, it's safe. But when they take it out and, and they break it up and it expose up it to air and, and water, 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 it turns into, in the long run, sulfuric acid. And then the state will be delivering you water. Can uh, they bring enough? Water no, Halliburton will pass? sell it. To well, you. I asked. I uh, <laughs> I was having a little fun with one of the gentleman that was here, and I I said, you know, if he wants a job, I'll give him a job opening the bottles. Yeah. Some of our calls only like Aquafina and some of them like the other brands. So you know what? You're going to have to have all the trucks show but up. But unfortunately, you know? the other part of that is, is a cow in a warm season, each cow will drink 100 gallons. A day. Yeah. Yeah. A day. It's it's a lot of 16 ounce bottles. In the state. How many cows do you have? So so it's, 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 yeah, all together. It's a lot of water bottles. Yeah. Yeah. Not to mention the water it takes to grow the pasture. Yeah. What they said, but yeah. they said they put exactly. a big, that has a big to tub over the yard and put water in it. A tank, a, a big tank, a, a big plastic tank. tank yeah. Set. Yeah. Sorry, what did he say? A five hundred gallon tank. That takes care of what five thousand or something. That's what Senator Grothman recommended to you guys? Well, take out your yard. They'll put a tank in your yard. yard. That's what yeah. GTAC's uh, oh. solution, uh, solution was to, the, to take in the water. And the, and the businesses in Mellon also use a lot of water. A huge amount. And what's going to happen to them when their water's gone? Because that the city furnishes. There's three mills. Mills. Yeah. And, uh, uh, somebody asked, yeah. you did, or somebody asked the uh, city councilman council how much they use. Said, they, I don't know what they use a day, but I said, I'll tell you what, they use 1.3 million gallons every three months at Columbia Forest Products. Well, it's about 3 said, million altogether. The other mill, about three million between uh, for, North yeah. Country Lumber and Superior Dry Kilns, they use about the same. He said, so you're looking at about 3 million gallons of water every three months for your three largest employers. He said, but that's small potatoes, really compared to what everybody else uses. Yeah, and the GTAC, the they'll take that out in a day. Oh, yes. Yeah. Now they, they'll uh, and then where do they put it? Did, has anyone asked them where they're going to oh, put the water? The water, the water? The water treatment no, plant. No, no, yes. water. From Ironwood. From, from Ironwood. Oh. And the water's going to go through the treatment plant and come back better than it went in. That was well, No, no, no. Better than what is in the rivers right now. Ah. And yeah. I want to guarantee you they don't have anything better that's, than what's flowing in these yeah. rivers up here. That are coming out They're of the springs. Because yes. Northern yeah. College at many classes. The watershed. So you have studies oh, yeah. that, like baseline studies yes, the, of the uh, water? Bad River Watershed has been working for 
I know at least two years doing baseline studies on the. And uh, even probably before that. I know Cliff has been two, two, yeah. two years. Uh, it's only two years that they've been on this side. They've been working for, they've been established for 10 years, but they were working more towards the Maringo area. area. North, of, north, of, north of here. And then when they came over this way, like even in that Upper Guard Creek where they found yeah. all those trout, it's just a little thing. Yeah. But it's ice, ice cold and the brook trout. Uh, yeah. the native brook trout. Native brook trout, self supporting stream. And it's no wider than this table. At the widest part. Yeah, and maybe knee deep. And uh, DNR had come in to do a, a fish study, see what they could find. And you, I think they said they usually go 100 yards. And they went 150 feet. And they pulled out 21 brook trout in that short distance, in that small stream and anywhere from uh, you know your middle size to uh, like a nine or ten inch trout mm -hmm. and then they also pulled out uh, a sculpins and that's a, another real touchy fish it has to have the right temperature and good clean water to survive 